Hi, this is your boy, Poetic Brooklyn, uh, from, from Studio 718. I'm coming to you because a little late. I uh, ordered these sneakers a while ago, but uh, I've just been completely busy. Um, I put out a video for you guys last week about the missing UPS uh, shipment of the uh, Utility Black 500s, UZ 500s. Uh, but here today, uh, I purchased a pair of sneakers from StockX and I wanted to make sure that they were legit before I took off the tag. So that's why I'm here. I'm gonna start off with the box and everything and we'll go from there. So let's take a look. I started off with the box. What I got here is I got, these are the butters here. These are the butters right here that uh, I purchased um, from StockX. So this is the box, a little closer look of the box itself, the label and everything. I'm gonna do a 360 view of the box. Um, of course, the 350. Um, and these pairs here are my blue tints that I purchased from uh, Finish Line. Uh, so I know for a thousand percent sure that these are a thousand percent authentic and have already done a legit check on them. So, as you can see, this was 11 and a half. They didn't have a size 11, so this is the one I ended up getting. Um, putting in two raffle tickets and getting the 11 and a half, not the 11s, because they're a popular size. So, looking at the box, um, upon first look at the box, uh, of course, just purchasing them from different locations, um, you can see the differences from the, um, the finish line box that had the uh, the price of the 220 purchase price right here. And so um, that's there. And then, um, but as you know, if you purchase retails, you can purchase retails anywhere and one will have a sticker on this side and the other will have a sticker on this side. So that's not alarming. As far as I'm bring the shoes out. StockX stating that this is 100% authentic. So, uh, this is from StockX. Move my StockX logo. If you purchase from StockX, you know this is how it comes in the box. There goes my order number up there. They have purchased. StockX address, purchase price, size, shipping. As you know, authentication fee is free in the total down here. Got them for a steal. Uh, the paper looks a little different to me too. Just in case anyone thought. Snap a pic, show us. Verify tag, upload to Instagram, hashtag. StockX, get featured, brag to your friends. All right. Anyways, there goes this little tag here. I'm gonna check to make sure the numbers match. So the numbers do match. So I, from what I understand, that's one thing that the fakes don't do. So that's it. There, let's look at the shoe. I haven't put them on yet. This is literally my first time taking it out of the box. Let's look at the shoe. A box um, with the tag. Tell this is a legit tag. Although I heard that people are starting to put fake verified StockX on there. As long as I don't open this, I can possibly return these. It matches, it feels 
pretty good. The paper looked weird to me, but. You guys can see this. This is good too. But hey, I'm no no shape or form an expert. I'm just a sneaker lover. I've watched a couple of reviews, but no one's done like a legit check other than the actual fake manufacturers in uh, China that are selling their shoes as real. The only reason why I'm doing this review here is because um, someone online said that they were selling to StockX fake Yeezys and they were passing the legit check. And what makes me really nervous is this EPC Insider uh, on this shoe. Um, I don't know if I should be alarmed. Again, there's not too much out there on them, but these are the ones I got from uh, Finish Line, and so it looks completely different. So this is my Beluga 2.0 box, and this is my box for my butters, and uh, as you can see, they're the same size, just in case anyone was going to say anything about the box being smaller than my blue tip box. But uh, anyways, so the box size is absolutely correct. So I'm just gonna look at the shoe a little bit. All right, so looking at the shoe now, looks pretty legit to me. You guys can comment below and tell me what you think, but uh, Upon looking at it here. All right guys, so it looks pretty legit to me. Here's the shoe here. Looks pretty good. Um, you guys can tell me what you think about the shoe. This is a little bit of an aerial view. I haven't put them on at all because again, like I said, I've been extremely busy. pair. This is my pair. We bought both of our pairs. I bought hers from Easy Supply. I hate how small it feels. <gasps> but uh, texture, pretty good. Laces come the same. I was told that that the some of the fake factories put the shoes and the laces in the wrong direction, but it looks like these have been tied in the right direction, or the same direction, I should say. Um, so, literally, if you look at both shoes, same foot, hers from Easy Supply, mine from StockX, you can see here that the laces crosses over in the same direction. So um, if you're looking at, if you're looking for that, it looks like StockX probably did give me a right pair. Literally the only thing that concerns me is the EPC on the shoe. Everything seems to match with the shoe. I'm just really skeptical about StockX simply because of what I was told. I almost freaked out just now because I was reading my wife's UPC number to my sneaker and literally almost freaked out. Um, so, let's see. Let's see. One, two, 
Alright, anyways, the review of these sneakers, I believe StockX has given me a thousand percent legit pair. I am still a little skeptical again because I saw a comment. I follow the I follow a couple of the top um, uh, counterfeit makers just to see. Like one of them has reviews on their sneakers and like one customer said, oh yeah, I just sold a pair to uh, StockX and it passed a legit check and I made a good profit. And this particular manufacturer actually condoned that kind of business. Um, one of them actually stopped promoting a shoe because people were selling them as authentic shoes. So um, not all of them are like that. They know that they're making fake shoes, but they get them to people who don't care. I personally care about having authentic shoes. Um, <laughs> my greatest fear is being called out wearing them. So that's why I don't rock them. If you're rocking a pair of fake Yeezys, you don't have to tell anyone that you're rocking a pair of fake Yeezys but just don't try to sell your fake Yeezys as real Yeezys, cause that ain't cool. Especially when there's people like me who are willing to pay aftermarket pricing for the Yeezys just to make sure that uh, we have authentic sneakers. Cause if I wanted to get a pair of sneakers for hundred dollars, I could have done that and done what you did, but just don't put it out. Um, this review, StockX verified, yes, 100% uh, a real. I verified that this is authentic. I looked at the number. From my understanding, the counterfeiters have not matched their, U their UPC numbers, nor the model number of the F whatever this shoe is, F036988 or something like that. F36980. Um, so they perfected that, but not the UPC number. Stitching looks good. Color looks good. Um, I love Boost technology. Um, I've had bad knees forever. The only reason why I go crazy on these things is because these are literally the only shoes that I can rock and not have to worry about my knees hurting going out, especially going to like Disney or anything like that. I wear my Beluga 2.0s to Disney all the time. I wear uh, my blue tints walking downtown all the time. So this is definitely a good shoe. All right, guys, here's a review. Go to shoot. Come back, Studio 718. We got some hot stuff. Visit our website, www.studio718. Go to the Brooklyn Kings tab under the men's section. That's where we got all of our Biggie, Pac, Jay-Z, all the New York stuff, all the Brooklyn Kings, Basquiat. We got some more stuff coming out to you, fall 2018. But let's go, one of the hottest shoes. I know a lot of people don't like them, but if you rock the butters correctly, this is one of the hottest shoes of the summer. Go get them.